anymore. But look at this. FanDuel Sportsbook Gods have now put Joel Embiid at the top of the potential MVP list. He broke the 76ers record with nine straight 30-point games. And yes, that is more than Wilt and AI. Um, I do love that we get a little bit of a change of scenery here and, and, and more argument to be had, Chandler. What do you think? Is it a lock now for Embiid? I wouldn't say it's a lock, but I'd say it's looking really, really good. And I love that these two teams play each other, I think, next Monday. And that will kind of be the icing on the cake mm. last showdown. Uh, so look for that game. And, I, and knowing Joel, he's going to go at him. And I think here's the best thing that happened, Joel, is this kind of fall off and this, you know, Jokic to win back to back to back. You pretty much have to be perfect for the entire season. And now at the end of the season, when it matters the most, his team is kind of taking a hit and they've fallen off a little bit. And that hurts his stock. And Joel Embiid is the opposite. His trajectory has been up. He's dominating. They're winning. They're rising in the standings. And. And, and the Nuggets are doing the exact opposite. So I do think Joel is the front runner. I hope he wins it. He deserves it. And again, to win it back to back to back, you can't allow these kind of stretches in the season. And Jokic has done that. It was giving doubters, uh, voters a little bit of doubt, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm old enough to remember that Joel Embiid gave them 47 to 18 last time they played each other. <laughs> so if, if he repeats that when they play again, he might lock up the MVP right then and there. It, it, Chandler's right. He's trending right. We, we remember what, what you've done for us lately most. And so if he's going to kill it in March and April, if he's going to push his team up to the two seed and possibly even the one seed, you got to give him that. Yeah, you, 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 at some point, he's winning all of the conversations you can have. He's leading the league in scoring. He has a great narrative. He's putting up these gaudy, like, accomplishments. He's doing stuff Wilt didn't do. Like, okay, what else do you have right? to do to win an MVP at this point? Oh, you got to beat up the reigning two-time MVP? Did that. And might just do it again. But we're going to talk about him in a second. And, you know, this is, I think they call this a segue. But there's another guy lurking, and he's lobbying for it. He's openly lobbying and telling us, like, if I'm not the MVP, then what's the MVP? So it's a three-man race right now, in my eyes. Yes, segue or segui, if you will. Uh, Giannis and his team beating the Raptors. There was an NBA game last night. You might have missed it with all the college stuff. But he did finish with 22, 13, and 10. Uh, Brookie Lopez, 26, Milton, 20. Giannis talked to Sam Amick about the MVP award. Here's what he said. So what is the MVP? Is it the guy who scores the most points? Is it the guy who's the most efficient? Is it the guy who's the most dominant? Is it the guy who's the most valuable? The criteria just, oh, sorry for my language, it just changes. You don't have to apologize, you're an adult. Um, but he did weigh in on it, and I do love when guys start to sort of talk about the topics that we've all been wondering about ourselves. Does he have a point, Chandler? What exactly is the criteria for this uh -huh. award? Yeah, you never really know, and this is why guys get frustrated because the Bucs are the best team in the NBA, I think, and, and he's been the best player on the NBA. So it, does that count? Jokic kind of has doing something different than his position usually does and averaging triple doubles and having these crazy numbers. Does that count? Joel Embiid is now dominating, leading the NBA in scoring, kind of peaking at the right time, having his team rise in the, in the standing. So they all have... They all have a like a, you know a, a, a vote, and they all could deserve it. It is tough. You look at Giannis' game last night. The guy was perfect from the field. Per he only missed free throws. The only thing he did wrong was literally he missed like four free throws or whatever it was. It's insane wow. the season this guy's having. He's probably the best. Like if you had a draft right now of any player in the NBA, you're probably taking Giannis number one. And everything that's happened with Chris Middleton being in and out of the lineup. This guy is, is he also has a strong case and I think it's the last two weeks of the season three weeks of the season they can play a huge part because all these guys are right there. They're both they're all three on great teams and it could come, I think any of them can still get it which is insane that there's this little many games left and all three of them are still an option for MVP just shows how good the league is right now it shows how many dominating seasons these guys are having but to me, it's Joel Embiid. Everything he's doing, I hate the hate he's getting, how he's taking plays off. I watch him all the time. A lot of the plays he's taking off is when he's usually in foul trouble and Doc keeps him in the game and he's kind of avoiding contact. But the, the guy's been unbelievable, so it's hard It's it's hard to hate on any of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 all, th all three have amazing cases. I mean, Joel Embiid, league leading in scoring. I think he got snubbed probably the last couple of years, one of the last couple of years. Jokic, leading the league in triple doubles. Uh, he's he's going to become the third player, you know, if, as long as this continues, to average tri triple double over a season with Oscar Robinson, Russell Westbrook. First is a big man. First, they're probably going to end up as the number one seed in the West. 
Giannis has a great case, too. I talked about it last week. Why aren't we talking about him more? Number one seed in the East, uh, despite all the injuries they've had, Chris Middleton being out for most of the season. He's literally just got back to being the Chris Middleton that we know uh, and expect from him. So Giannis has really led that team to, to, to you know, the number one seed out of nowhere this season. So all three have cases. I think it's amazing for the league, for three guys to be going into the last two weeks of the regular season. And really, the MVP could be decided right here. Eddie, look, we're fans, right? So when we talk about these things with friends and stuff, it's it's not a checklist. Like, it's not that easy to just sort of check these topics off and say you're the MVP. It's like a vibe. If you had to explain it to someone who has no idea what you're talking about, what is the MVP? I mean, it's a great question. And it's a question these guys have been wrestling with for some time. Because when Russell Westbrook got a triple-double, it was pretty much like, he has to win. He had a triple-double. But there was times when it was like, well, LeBron was just the best player this year, and it has to be LeBron. And I don't think there's a clear answer, and, and that's why I understand why it's frustrating. Now, I've heard people say, yo, there should be a checklist, and they should be. And I'm like, well, then we're going to see guys playing for those numbers every year, and that's not going to be fun. So it's, it's weird, and it is kind of a vibe. It is kind of a, you know, a feeling like this guy was better than everybody this year. To me, that's what it is. This was the best player. He had the best season of everybody all year. But for each person, that definition is different. So I get why, why Giannis is frustrated. LeBron once spoke about that quite vocally as it was very clear that Steph was about to win the MVP. He said, yo, if we're talking about the most valuable player in, on, in the league, who's more valuable to their team than me? Which was like, if I'm Boy. D. Wade, I'm sitting there going, hey, chill, bro. But he was kind of right. He had a good point. Like, he was incredibly valuable to his team. So, But if we're going to do that, then we do on-off stats and, like, who has the most net rating and, and like it could be so many things but the 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 short answer to your question is i don't know the mvp <laughs> is the mvp <laughs> you know what's funny know, is it's the, really the hard thing, the, the thing that helps joel the most is that he hasn't won the award and i swear the nba just wants someone yeah. new to want it you want to just won it Joel has complained that he should have won it the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Like Damian Lillard, he kind of chirped so much in the beginning. He's now like a lock for an all-star game. He made the USA team. <laughs> if you vocalize it so much, you're going to speak it into existence. And I swear that is helping Joel Embiid because now Jokic is giving you doubt. Giannis has already got it. Now let's have a new fresh star in the NBA. Let's give it to Joel Embiid. And the next year they can all just fight over it again. I know. It's funny because it's point. all in the delivery, right? <laughs> Like when Joel was, I wouldn't even say he was complaining. He was just matter of fact, very truthful about the fact that he wanted the award. Uh, he deserved the award. And it was just like, huh, I kind of like that he did that. He wasn't acting like it was too cool for the award. And it, it made me happy. Uh, look.